That's a, a stroke all leader and Eddie Hearn debating whether or not to beat up the, the judges there. Let's talk about that now. The scorecards, 96-96 and 96-95 on another yeah. card. Uh, a lot closer than a lot of people had at ringside. Yeah, yeah um, obviously, this their opinions, and they obviously they uh, ringside do a job. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel I didn't feel like that at all. I'd say maybe two, three rounds, three rounds max. Um, I let him have a little burst now and again, um, which I probably shouldn't have. But at the same time, I, I, like I said, I didn't get out of second gear. But um, it's what it is. I got a good ten rounds on my belt, got the win, and now it's time to push on, build on my next camp, and then um, look to put a better performance on in my next fight. Just mentioning there, obviously you didn't make championship weight for this, but you have dropped down from lightweight down to super featherweight in your last few fights. Feel stronger down at that weight? Um, yeah, I feel physically stronger. Um, towards the end, and I was pushing him back, I could feel he was sort of feeling my weight a little bit. Um, so yeah, it was just, it, it was, uh, I, I could, he, I know he could feel the, the weight on me and yeah, I feel a, a lot physically stronger at, at Super Feather. 16 months out of the ring is never ideal for anybody, but you've of course used that time to have an operation on your hand. How was the hand when you were in there? Oh, it was fine, fine. I let it go um, and yeah, no problems at all. How do you feel about getting back into the ring? Obviously a lot of people, you're a heavily touted prospect, you've got back into the ring. What's the future looking like for you now? Um, yeah, i just got to build on performance. Uh, like I said, I give it a 6 out of 10. i just got to build on that now, um, go into my next camp and uh, put things I did wrong in there, put them straight and then build on in my next fight. Final question, because I know you'll be desperate to go out there and watch Lawrence Acoli or go in there and watch Lawrence Acoli. How does a big man get on? Does he bring home the WBO Cruiserweight title? Yeah, for sure. Um, I remember I, I said to people in the interviews before, I remember the, the first time I met him, his confidence was unbelievable. And I, I just thought the guy's mad, proper bonkers. And we went to a tournament, he was telling me at breakfast what he's going to do when he went out and done it. So, and in the next fight, he'd done the same. And I got no choice but now to believe him, what he's saying. And he's done everything he said he's going to do, he's done. And he said he's going to be a world champion, and I believe that's what he's going to do. First for him, you soon? Yeah, for sure. Joe Cordina, congratulations on your return to the ring. Thanks for our speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you. Cheers, Joe. <laughs>